three geometric and one kind of just happens, kind of like clouds. Or macaroni or spaghetti, you throw it on the floor, or drops off your plate. Look at those four and decide which one you like best out of those four. You can like all of them. If you're a graphic designer, you would. You'd like all of them. They're valuable in many different ways. But choose the one that would be most fitting to you as maybe a logo or just something you do for fun. How many of you pick square? And now what I'm going to ask you to do is stand up and go stand over there. Everyone who picks square, go stand over there. Leave your things at your chair. One in 200. That's it. <laughs> hmm, this might say something about this part of Malaysia. All right, how many chose squiggle? Come stand over there. There's a Ah, uh, we have a second hand square going on here. If you would choose circle, go stand back there, close to the sound system. And triangle back there. If you can't make up your mind, stay in the center of the room. Or if you like more than one, stand up. Here's what I'm asking you to do now, no matter which point you're in, is talk to at least one person, perhaps someone you know, preferably someone you don't know. Why, why do you think you picked that shape? Just take a minute to ask someone, share why you picked the shape, ask them why they picked the shape. Take the next minute and ask them to do that. So, why did you pick it? Why did someone else pick that shape? Unless you're using mental telepathy, I need to hear some sound. No, it? Ah. Okay, keep trying. All right, I'm going to show something on the screen. One of the things I've been doing for the last 30 plus years of my life is trying to help people realize that we're all born to some degree with a particular way of thinking. We can expand it, but more often than not, our preferred way of thinking is something that's born in us, or in the first 20 or so years, like up to your age, is developed in you, somehow. If I can get a sense of how you tend to think, as the room is laid out now, a few squares, quite a few squiggles, a lot of circles which I expected, and still quite a few number of triangles, which I didn't expect, by the way. If I was in Germany, you'd all be over there. <laughs> if we were in Italy, you'd all be over there. If we were in Spain, you'd all be over there. And if we were in France, most of you were here or outside of the room because they can't make up their mind. <laughs> but how we think affects how we learn. This is where our teachers can learn. To be better teachers is to teach to your learning style, not to get you to learn from their teaching style. The best teachers are the teachers who adapt to their students, not those who cause their students to have to adapt to them. That's been proven for centuries, actually, through extensive research. How we communicate is based on how we think. If I'm logical and precise, and I want things in facts, that's how I will speak. We'll hear it in your words. If you are organized, systematic, and prefer things in step-by-step -step fashion, that's how we'll hear it in the way you speak. If you use lots of adjectives and glorify things and get excited about things, that's how we'll speak. If you speak in terms of us, not me, or uh, uh, we instead of they, we'll hear it in how you speak. Those all affect how you solve problems and they affect how you will create, no matter what you do in your life. 
Well, that's another way of saying it. How do you process information? How do you take it in? How do you learn it so you can pass the test? How do you share it? How do you apply it? People who are squares tend to be strong individualists. They tend to be very convergent, focused, think things through. The squiggle types tend to be divergent, lots of possibilities, probably eat lots of different food, have different types of friends, have different habits. The circles tend to be like family. They tend to travel in packs or flocks. It's not really a word for humans. And those who are triangles tend to do things organized. Now I'm going to ask to see if it might be true. All you have to do is kind of nod your head or just kind of wink or something. You don't have to let them know. Do you like things to be done, said to you in a factual way, logical way? over here, if you only had to do one thing, and one thing only, for eight hours a day, for the next five days, actually for the next eight weeks, five days a week, what might happen? Would you get frustrated having to do the same thing every day, the same way, all the time? Yes. Thank you for reacting. <laughs> Air tough crowd, Suzanne. All right. Do you like to do things in a variety of ways? That's another way of saying it. You like to have lots of different friends. You like to even ride your bicycle different ways, or your bike, or your motorbike, or your car, if you happen to be pushing enough to have a car. You don't go the same way all the time, but that's boring. You might get your hair in different ways sometimes. That's more common in my culture than yours, maybe. But you like to wear different kinds of clothes. You don't want to wear like everybody else is wearing. Is that true? All right. <laughs> Do you like to be with friends most of the time? Yes. Don't like to be on your own. When you walk into a room, can you tell the mood or the energy in the room? You can tell whether people are sad, angry, happy, frustrated. Okay. When people come to you with their personal problems. Okay. Over there, do you wish people didn't come to you with their personal problems? That didn't get the laugh I was looking for. They like to do it us. We do it together. We're going to solve it. No one necessarily needs to give me credit. Is that true? Okay. That's enough. Over here, could you tell me what are, what's in the drawers, in the dresser, in your room? If you're in the right hand top drawer, can you tell me what's in it? Just from memory. If I was in your apartment, in your house, uh, a place where you studied, and I asked where something was on a cell phone, did you tell me where to find it? Okay. Sure. Sure. You don't just take that around. Do you find your roommates if you have a roommate? Yes. No, she may not have roommates. Do you like things done one, two, three, four, five in the order? Does that make sense? Are you spillovers from the circle, or are you trying to? <laughs> I can't tell. It's, it's like an amoeba growing.